Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So, as you can see from the title, today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog of Happy Place by Emily Henry. This is one of my most anticipated reads of the year, and I'm very excited to read it, but at the same time, I'm quite nervous because the amount of people I've seen do videos on this book, and I've cried their eyes out. So, I'm quite nervous. Apparently, it's completely different than any other Emily Henry book. So, I'm very intrigued. The only thing is, why is it hardcover? Like, why? Every other Emily Henry book is paperback. It just doesn't match. But the actual cover of it is super pretty. And I got it from Amazon. However, a couple days later, it was in the works for £7.50. So I could have saved myself a fiver. But it's fine. It's all good. But I could have saved myself a fiver. This video is going to be a spoiler-free reading vlog. But then at the end of the video, I'm going to do like a spoiler section. As you can see, I do have a new background. I got my bookcase today and I have already organised it. There will be a bookshelf tour coming up soon. I don't know if I'm going to stick to this background yet. I'm just going to see. I'm not sure. I'll have to edit it and see if I like the background or not. But yeah, I'm just going to do a reading vlog. It will probably be over the next like two days. I'm not going to be able to read too much today because it's actually currently literally 5 o'clock, 5pm when I'm filming this. So it's a lot later in the day and I've got football to watch at 8 o'clock. And I'm in a little bit of a reading slump, so I'll try to read around like 60 pages. I'm going to give you updates here and there, and we're just going to see. So yeah, I'm very excited. And if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe if you want to see more bookish content. So yeah, let's get straight on to the video. I didn't actually read anything yesterday because I just didn't really feel like it but I did start the book today it's around like four o'clock now I think so it's a little bit later on in the day I'm going to try to read as much as possible and give you guys a couple more updates today but so far I'm enjoying it I don't really know how I feel about the writing though like it doesn't go from like past to present it's just like it's all in the present tense but then she thinks back to like past memories and then there's like being one chapter and I feel like there's gonna be more chapters in the past tense as well but it's not like set as like past present past present past present so I'm not sure I am enjoying it so far like I read 60 pages and it didn't feel like I read 60 pages so it's good so far I'm enjoying it I just don't know what to expect like I'm reading this book and I'm like because I don't know if it's gonna be a happy ending or not I'm like, I don't know where this is going. I don't really know how I feel about the main guy character yet. Like, we know really nothing about him so far. The main girl character, I do really like her. I feel like she's very much of, like, a realistic character. We only get it from her point of view. And I'm really enjoying, like, the found family aspect. I feel we're going to get more about friendships and the actual relationship in this book or the ex-fiancé slash ex-relationship. But so far, the side characters, I'm really liking them. I love how everyone's personality is very much, like, different as well. I'm really liking that. I really like the dynamic of them as a group. I said, there's not really too much to update you on because I said, I've only read 60 pages. It's going well. It's going well. I just, I, it's just, I'm seeing people say they even love this book. And then people saying it's her worst book. So that's where I'm like, I don't know what to expect. Okay, I thought I'd give you an update. It's actually currently quite late. It's around quarter past 11. I'm not gonna read any more pages tonight, but I thought I'd give you an update. I'm on page 144. So I'm around over a third of the way through of this book. I have my snacks as well. No one convinced me otherwise. Chili sensations are the best crisps. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. The only thing is I'm getting confused well, like when it's the past and present the main girl kind of goes into her thoughts and that's where it kind of goes into the past and then that's where i'm getting a little bit confused but overall i am really enjoying it so far i'm not getting bored at all and again i just don't know how this is going to play out this book but i'm very intrigued and also how nice my nails if i'd also mention but so far i said i'm really enjoying it and i'm gonna carry on with it tomorrow i'm hopefully gonna finish it tomorrow because I feel like I might, because I'm getting through it very quickly anyway. So yeah, I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. Also, I forgot to mention that I know when it says happy place, it means like the past and then real life is the present. But then when it's like in the present, there's memories from the past and that's kind of where I'm getting a little bit confused. But I said, I really do like Harriet's character. I want a little bit more of Wynn. Is his name Wynn? Yeah, because we haven't got too much about him so far. He's not boring. 
but there's not too much about him. That's why I kind of would have liked his point of view, but I don't think in any Emily Henry books we have the main guy's point of view. I think all the ones are the female's point of view. I feel like there's going to be more problems in this book as well, like not just the relationship or the ex-relationship that there is. I feel like there's going to be like friends issues as well. There's been hints of other things kind of going on, but so far I'm really liking it because it's not an actual like romance. There's a lot more to the plot so I definitely say if you don't really like romance books like which is fully romance but want a little bit of romance I think this will be the one for you because I'm really liking it just the writing is confusing me at times update time. I'm on page 235. I'm not getting through this book as quickly as I thought I would. I am enjoying it. It's just the writing I'm not really like a massive fan of. I don't know what it is. I'm just not connected to the writing as much as I thought I would. Also at this point when I'm reading it I just don't understand why they've broken up. Like I know we're gonna find out later on in the book why they broke up but right now I'm like you guys are perfect for each other. Like why did you break up? what was the reason so yeah also the one of the best friends Sabrina she's annoying me a little bit like she just keep making comments I'm a bit like is this really necessary I don't know the other best friend Cleo I really like her as a character I love Harriet I really like Wynne more now than before I love like the humor between Wynne and Harriet as well like the banter and that's why I do really like them together and that's why I'm like why did you break up because I said I'm a bit confused. I'm about 60% of the way through of this book and I said I thought I was going to finish it today. Probably won't. I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I wanted to finish it today to do a review on my Instagram for it but I just know that's not going to happen. But yeah so far I said I'm really liking the story. I am but it's just the writing that I'm just not connecting to as much as I thought I would. Okay, it's quite a lot later on in the day now, and I'm not going to read any more tonight, but I'm on page 309, so I've got just less than 100 pages left. I said I'm not going to read any more tonight because I don't want to cry, and I feel like the end of this book, or near the end of this book, is going to make me cry. From everyone I've seen on TikTok, their reactions of them crying, I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait till tomorrow, but the past few chapters have been very entertaining. There's been so much going on, and we just found out why Wynne and Harriet broke up. And I understand why they broke up and I feel like it was right in that time. But they are so perfect for each other. Like, so perfect for each other. I love the banter between them. And even in the present tense, like, you can tell they still love each other so much. Because it's only been six months since they broke up, which hardly any time at all. And, like, I just love them. And I want them both happy. And you kind of find out why it's called Happy Place as well. And I really like this book because... It's talking about actual like real issues with Harriet and how she's brought up by her parents and her fears and win because he's very self-conscious about a lot of things. So yeah, I'm really loving it. There's been a lot of like friends drama as well that's kind of going on. Just everything's kind of unraveling right now. And I feel like the last 100 pages is going to be really entertaining as well. This book was a little slow for a while, but I think now we're at that point where it's like the best part of the book and I said I've only got 20% left and I just don't know how this book is going to end I have no idea but the actual plot of this story I think Emily Henry's done an amazing job of it and I said I love the characters the fan family aspect is amazing just the setting of the whole place is really fun as well to read about but yeah I do recommend it I'm gonna finish the book tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna give you my spoiler free thoughts and then go in my spoiler thoughts as well the time is half seven in the evening and I have finished happy place so my view on this book I said I'm going to do my non-spoiler views and then I'm going to do my spoiler views my non-spoiler views is I gave this book four stars I did really enjoy it I just felt like the ending was very rushed. Like, with the reasons why Wayne and Harriet weren't together for those six months, I felt like that could have been talked about so early on in the book and, like, them trying to fix their problems throughout the book than just the last, like, 10 20%. I felt that bit was very rushed. And I feel like a lot of books I read nowadays, the ending's always rushed. And it's 
so annoying but anyway also i feel like so many people will relate to the main characters i feel like the main characters are so realistic and they do have the flaws of course as characters should but i think so many people relate to harriet i've seen a lot of people say they relate to harriet personally for me I don't really relate to her, but I understand why people do. I did cry twice, not too much, but I did cry because there was me worried for like so much this book, whether it's a happy ending or not. I'm not gonna say whether it is a happy ending or not because those will be my spoiler views. So yeah, I did really like the two main characters and the side characters, I said I was annoyed at Sabrina, but then her actions kind of made sense. I really love Cleo. Like she, I would say, is my favorite character. But one thing I'd say is Sabrina and Parth, they're together and like this was all about them getting married this week and stuff in the book. But I just didn't see the chemistry between them. Like we literally got hardly any of them in the book together and I just couldn't really see them being together. I don't know. And there was times where like Parth didn't understand Sabrina and I was like, if you know your fiance, you should know where she is, you should know how she feels, kind of thing. I know I have complained about Emily Henry's writing a little bit, I don't know if anyone else agrees with me on this, I don't know if it's just just me where it kind of has taken me a while to kind of get used to her writing, but what I will say is she had so many good quotes, like the amount of times I've highlighted things in this book where the characters have said and I'm just like just keep highlighting because there's so many amazing quotes and it just shows how much Win and Harriet do love each other, like they just do. I think sometimes I read a book and I'm like, these characters don't love each other. But you can tell, even when they were not together, they were together in a way. Does that make any sense? But yeah, overall, I did really enjoy it. I said I gave it four stars. I wasn't as connected to the story as other people was. I don't know. I think it's just because I didn't relate to the characters like other people. Maybe that's why. But the story I did really like. It's just. For 375 pages, there wasn't too much going on. Like, I was finished this book and looked back at what happened. I was like, there wasn't really a lot going on. It was over, like, a week period and then you get the past. But it was still interesting to read about. I still really enjoyed it. I did get bored in a couple of places. But overall, I would definitely recommend this book. For my spoiler views, there's not really a lot to say. But what I will say is the ending with it being rushed, I just feel like it was like an epiphany in a way for Harriet and being like oh I want to be with him and I'm going to move to Montana and I understand why she did it in the past because she had a job she didn't realize that she hated a job this much but it was like they said they can't be together this is like our last goodbye and then she's on the plane to go back to San Francisco and then she suddenly has this feeling of like wherever Wynn is I'm happy and I'll move to Montana I didn't think this book was going to have a happy ending for a while, even though I should probably realise it would because all Emily Henry's books do have happy endings, yeah, they do end up together, but the ending was so rushed. It was just like, oh, we'll go, like, I'll go to him, and that's it. And I just felt like that bit had to be talked longer for their insecurities, like, both Harriet and Wayne had their own insecurities that just should have been talked about before they broke up. You know, I wish we got this book in Wynn's perspective because I would have loved to see more about his depression. Like it was definitely hinted at his depression a lot with how self-conscious he was and how he thinks so poorly of himself. And that made my heart break. Like I just wanted him to like know how good of a person he was. But I said, I wish we just got that from his perspective. Like it just kind of mentioned about him having depression and being on medication. And then it just kind of like wasn't talked about really anymore and there was so much in Wynne's life that I wish we got his perspective on things. I did like that this book wasn't a pure like romance book, like it wasn't just like romantic love, there was so many like platonic relationships and how friends can grow apart when people get older and that just seemed so realistic. I just love the friendship between Harriet, Cleo and Sabrina, like I loved their friendship so much. I feel like that's one of those friendship groups that like, you just want to be a part of because even though they didn't talk often when they were older before they went on this holiday, they still cared about each other so much but overall I did really enjoy it and I definitely recommend it. It's just I didn't love it as much as other people. But yeah that's my book review on Happy Place. I really did enjoy. If you want to see more book content from me then please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in a brand new video. Bye!